Well, hello there, YouTube. Holy moly. Look how Friday the 8th of May is starting out. What do you think there, old Kai Kai? She goes, yep. It's going to be a nice one today. It's supposed to be mid-80s. Swallows. I love the swallows. How you, If you stand out here in the yard, they'll dive bomb you. <laughs> so, started out this morning, it was 32 degrees. Right now, it's 52. In, what, two, yeah, two hour, no, hour and a half swing, it's, it's raised 20 degrees. Went from frosty grass to nice warm 52 degrees. How about that? All right, we're off. Man, oh man. Feels like summer already. Nice and windy down here in Vancouver, mama. We survived the ride. The freeways are pretty much getting back to normal now. At least it's looking that way. All right. You have yourself a wonderful Friday. I like the wind. <laughs> All right. Love to see you by there, little woman. Nice driving to work with you again today. It's been a while. I know it. I miss you. It's funny we do that one day, and that seems like when's the last time we drove to work together? <laughs> this is America. Don't forget it. <laughs> All right. Love to see you. Bye. Love you. So I should be uh, able to work on this thing uninterrupted today. Get her back together. Man, the sweated on bearings and the sliders in between here, especially that one right there. Wow, did that thing fight me yesterday. It was brutal. And then, you know, other interruptions with other K1600s. You know, I got basically all I got done on the transmission was the gear set and everything, you know, shimmed and aligned correctly. Kurt, the parts he was waiting on on this, so he's going back together. Looks like he's coming along nicely. He's got his manifold back in there. And he'll be good to go. I bet he'll be glad to get that thing off his bench with the, the world situation at the time. It took a while to get the parts for it. Anyway, get this thing done. Get her done, take her for a ride out there in that wind. Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, hot dang. Uh, this may pose a bit of a problem. The shield on this thing is cold black. I don't know if you guys will see through that thing at all. I guess it's probably not much darker than the uh, um, <laughs> the little stubby on my street light. Oh, that was a good old gust of wind. Whew. And you guys that ridden these uh, K1600s, and you guys that own them, you definitely know what I'm talking about. These things have the profile of a nice big sail. They really feel crosswinds. I mean, very much they feel them. But it's cool because it really gives them a yank. And I like it when it tosses the bike a little bit. <laughs> Go ahead and get angry with it just a little bit. That caught some winds when that, that K1600B that I took on for a few, oh yeah, I like that, for a few days. That was pretty cool. A little, a little startling off and on at times. Wow, that is a dark shield. And it has one of those lips. I'll have to ride like this for y'all to see where I'm going. Ooh, it feels good out here. Last time I checked it was uh, 81. Let's see where she's at. Oh, that car is going a whole lot faster than I predicted. Ah, no he wasn't. That thing sounds really good. Oh yeah, let's get this big old sucker sideways. Come on, wind. Don't disappoint me. I had that old demo K1600. Boy, you just look like you about to go. 
making me nervous. There's a feller. Oh, I had that thing going down the freeway just sideways. Woo. I can imagine getting in like at Yellowstone, that crazy. It was literally a tornado that hadn't fallen down yet. You can see it swirling. I grew up in the south. I know I know what they look like right before they fall. But uh yeah, it blew us. We were all in the fast lane. We had changed freeways or highways or whatever. We're heading back towards wherever it was that got us towards West Yellowstone after going across Beartooth Pass. And just all of a sudden, I'm going, that's a tornado. They're going, what is that's a tornado? We just hadn't come down yet. They go, how do you know? I'm, so, I'm telling you, that's a tornado right there. Well, we go a few miles down the road and all of a sudden, just just spit it to all of us. It was a three lane, I believe. Sent us all three over and we all got wooed up at the shoulder before we went down a, well, it wasn't a cliff, but it was a steep, like, dike-shaped thing that went into a farmer's field. Now, these things, that's not lean condition. These whiz-bang fancy new things will, will make that blah, blah, when you back off. It'll do it when you shift. That's just kind of like a race bike does. It's gonna get that pop. If you roll off and it goes blah, 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 bang, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you got a problem. Not necessarily a problem. <laughs> it may be just street legal. And all modern stuff that's street legal, they're running at 14.7 to one. That's, that's just where they're running. That thing's get, it's not the old days like the carburetors. The only way they could get them to meet emissions was to grotesquely run them lean. You know, even Harley nowadays say, you know, the old days you could say you could put a muffler on there and you'd be fine. Nope. Even if you put a muffler on there, you should have a, an only muffler. Even a slip-on. You should have a stage one flash. Whoa. Stage one flash redone. Look at this boy here out on his hole. I'll race you, I bet you I can outrun you. Do I see lights on on this Harley? Nope, just reflections. But see, I don't know where he lives. I just put my hand up. If he sees me, great. If not, I was cool bumping into him the other day. He ended up coming into the shop. He's talking about having the Bluetooth dongle, and I there was a cut in the video when we were talking and I didn't ask him if it was okay to film him and stuff you know when we have a conversation I try to ask and um, anyway we were talking about it while I was sitting there with him on the spider for a minute but anyway he comes to the store and he comes down we talk well it's not an aftermarket Bluetooth dongle of some sort he bought that the Harley one I didn't know you could do that to the pre project Rushmore's and it may be something, I don't know. He says it's a Harley one, but it's twice the price of the one for the um, Project Rut, well, through 18, I think, yeah. 17 to eight, 17 to 18? Or is it through 19? When did the Bluetooth just come on? I'm saying, I don't know. Anyway, those are a couple hundred bucks. He, he said his was four or something. But, uh, yeah, it needs a digital technician. Something's got it in the radio. Something, something has to be turned on. We're not a Harley dealer. I can't. I cannot flash your motorcycle. I didn't see the dongle. He just told me it was from Harley Davidson. I've been meaning to research that. I just didn't know you could do that to the the ones without the the boom info center boom audio whatever they call it I keep manually shifting this thing and they do such a great job six cylinders of all of them are just magical shift assist pro <laughs> a little weird at the lower gears because it gives it a notable throttle blip 
Okay, we got two people turning right. I can go. Right, whoa, see? I should have just let the bike do it. Just reach up there and shift. It is saying it's 82.4. Nice. Now, there's one thing. BMW's ambient temperature is not never wrong. If I tell you it's such or such temperature and you got something on something else and you tell me it's something else, one thing the Germans for whatever reason are adam about adamant about their ambient temperature gauges are spot on. What I love is they adjust really quickly. Of heat on my toes. I don't think I've ever noticed that on one of these before. This is rolling heat at me right down at my feet. I guess these don't have quite all the, they're more sporty and slim down. The air deflector and stuff's not as thick. Any of you guys wonder if that white car and the red truck were gonna stop? Had me thinking. Look at that, we're still open. Look at that, you took it around there almost good. They cut all the way in and then it forces them to swing out. So you didn't have a chance to get out of the way. Yeah, the fans just are humming along there. The old Beamer says, dude, it's 82 degrees out here and you're riding me slow. Where am I going to put this thing? You know what? I'm going to back it in. I got a spider I need to... Oh man, I'm not going to have enough time to do that. I'll just go ahead and drive it up. Dang it. There's something else I want to get done today. Kurt's got his done too. He just got to put the Tupperware on it. It had a bad battery. He was throwing some codes and had us freaked out there a little bit. But that's all good. It's all happy. I tried to get the alignment done on this today as well. Dang it. That's the one Ryan had to put a... Oh, I cut that out of yesterday's video. I had to put a starter in that thing. I don't think we've ever... Ryan's like, you ever put a starter? <laughs> In a 990 and I go no that's the one oh that's the one you guys know about that that's what the diagnosis and repair of that was put that new starter in there boom man it sure seemed like that engine was hydraulic or seized that's what it acted like just a starter <laughs> but you know check the easy things first you know so we got our sign back isn't that nice it's nice to walk up the normal way. Ooh, this thing will never show it, but Mount Hood just a glowing out there. So uh, a police officer from the Gresham, Gresham, Oregon, the Gresham Police Department. I did this about a year and a half or so ago. Reset his, uh, recalibrated his windshield on his RT police bike, and uh, they did something. Somebody replaced a battery or something, and then it kicked itself out again so I come downstairs and Kurt's recalibrating it and uh oh man talk about people speeding down the freeway he's getting them at in the in the 130s and 120s just day in and day out I guess a Camry crashed at 124 because yeah it wasn't good hit the back of a semi and then he bounced like a ping pong ball in between other semis he goes, it was a real mess. So you had a full-on Freaky Friday today, huh? Yes, sir. How did you get out? When I walked up there 40 minutes ago, when it was time to go, you had a line. Yeah. It was crazy. Woo! What a day. Friday's Friday. 
Yeah. Uh, TGIF in a big way. Uh -huh. All right, well, let's head on to the Hacienda. Start ourselves a weekend. <laughs> wow. GC's is crazy light for a Friday. Well, based on the freeways, they're probably still out there moving. Yeah. They're going, hey, it don't get dark till 8. Well, it don't get dark till 9, but sunset's at 8.30. Actually, it is exactly 8.30 tonight. Did you know that? Very Yeah. We only gained two minutes a day. We gained sunset was one minute early, and, or sunrise was one minute early, and sunset was one minute later. And in my feeble math calculations, that's two minutes oh, of daylight we gained today. Well, that's okay. The days are nice and long. It can slow down. Summer solstice is only going to be about six weeks away. Yeah. Gum it. It starts rolling the other way. And life goes on. <laughs> Well, hello there, YouTube. Didn't even touch the backyard. So I got that out there done. And one-fourth of the front. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole nother side over there. So, it's a little after 8. Sunset's at 8.30. I'm going to see if I can't get this thing done. If the grass get, starts getting dewy, then bagging becomes messy. What a trooper. This is the first time I've cut really thick grass with those, you know, the high lift blades, you know, for bagging. Dude, that thing just, what a monster. Yeah, that just, that works wow. great. And I keep looking back expecting to see clumps of grass, you know, where it's not bagging it right. Nope. That thing's like a super vac. Yeah, that works really, really yeah. good. Wow, really good. So, anyway, we're going to make a short goodbye because I'm going to try to finish the front lawn. So all I have to worry about for Saturday and Sunday is what's sitting back there. Now that I've cut this, I look back there and I'm like, yeah, yeah that's not that's, looking good. No. That's look, not Sasha good. and Annie playing back there. I love it when I edit because I can't see, this is GoPro, I can't see the back. So I don't see what I don't see what I'm recording and I look back and the dog's doing weird things behind me. What's bad is sometimes they decide to, it's break time and I'm like, oh great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, we're going to bounce. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. i got to show you somebody who's down here. Right? You haven't come and visited in a while, Sparky Spark <laughs> Spark. I'm invading, invading. Oh. Oh, Sparkers, Sparkers. When I was taking my little nap yesterday, I wake up to him laying on my shoulders I thought man why am I getting hot over here it's sparky it's sparkers. so anyway thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the morning see you in the morning alright bye bye now mm -hmm.